what is up everybody welcome back or welcome to my channel today we are playing some la noir which is supposed to be a detective game set in the 1950s which sounds amazing um i'm really really excited to play this with you guys today my plan is to do this game playthrough in case format so we'll do like one case per episode unless they're like super short and then we'll make them a little bit longer um but yeah without further ado let's solve some murder stop some mayhem and revel in that chaos a city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. What? <laughs> Who is rating the vitality based on their cars? Where every man can own his own home, and have room to breathe, and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. Quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. And where his wife is his property. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But kind of in the 1950s. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. So we're gonna play in California. That's pretty cool. I was like, it's probably California or New York. Because <laughs> those are like the crime capitals. A city of dreamers. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> A city of undercurrents. Where not everything is as it seems. Hmm. All right, maybe there's like mini cases. A 20th but... century city that will become a model for the world. Like maybe they all tie together somehow. That'd be pretty cool. I love it when games do that. A city that has no boundaries. That will stretch as far as the eye can see. Anything goes. <laughs> Let's do this. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. Not my partner. But who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Unit 16 William requests uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Aw, oh, fuck, I have to drive. You guys know I can't drive to save my life. Is it anyone we watched? go again. They don't um, request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam Where am of I going? sunshine. Oh, itself. I see my map. Okay, hold on. Backing up. Backing up. Excuse me, sir. Cop cut. Cop here. <laughs> Shit. I hope I don't have to drive very much, guys, because um, y'all know I'm really, really bad at it. As you can already see. Oh, thank god. It was super short. Thank you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm already not confident in how this Boy is going to go. Homicide. You might back up? Yes, yes sir. sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We got places here. to be. Happy hunting. They said bad word. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, is it is the pump. 1950s, just but going like, through the motions. shit. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. I can't believe it is through that If you don't come up with anything, come oh. find me, and we'll talk it out. Hopefully that's the Two extent always better than one. of the naughtiness they, per <laughs> they give me in this game. I was shook. It's not even been five minutes, and they thrown out the N-word like that, bro. That is not nice. Look at this junk. What's up? 
I am busy looking. I don't know what actually I'm looking for. Is this the crime scene? It's Music not my chimes. job to pick through other people's trash. Well, help me. Okay. Help me out. Help me out. <laughs> have a good look around. It Brother. could be anywhere. I don't have anything. Oh, oh, okay. So I wanted to make this Phelps, anything? ridiculously hard on myself. So I turned off the clues. So it's not going to vibrate for me or indicate when I'm going to like get close to something. So I tell you I'm jinxed. We'll I see how this goes. This but crap. yeah, and that's why I was like, why isn't it vibrating? I'm like, I'm dumb. Oh, and I was like, I'm fuck it, let's go this. hard. I don't need clues. I'm a master detective. See the story behind. Oh, uh, sure. Time. Oh, there's like a sub Dr. story? Fontaine. Could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr. Sheldon? Or Courtney Sheldon? Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in what a name. Year, doctor. They fast tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes. Given the right set of circumstances, trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Shift. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine so far away it's like he's wandering you went through a lot together yes doctor give me his details and i'll make a prognosis i have a number of clinics in los angeles courtney shelton and your penance or your friend's help is to come and work at one of them in your spare time with what little spare time a medical student has is that a deal is it ever i i can't thank you enough i'm not promising a cure courtney I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. Damn, that guy's voice, I could listen to that guy's voice all day. <laughs> Damn, that was cool. All right, so the newspapers, I guess, maybe have a random backstory. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, I uh, I didn't put any, I didn't want any clues, okay? I didn't want any help. I wanted to put my detective skills to the test. Gotta put my law and order binging <laughs> that I do almost every night to the test, all right? If I don't know how to be a detective by now, then I don't deserve to be one. <laughs> so I might miss stuff, but I don't think so, because I'm gonna like, I don't know, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to treat it like you're actually a detective. You, like, you won't get hints when you're a detective, you know? So I wanted to make it as real as possible. Will I regret it? We will see. Um, but I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, here was the murder. Where's the body? Alright. Look at this. He got shot right in the head. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Called it. Hell of a way to go. It is Doesn't really very matter execution how you go style. Once you're gone. <laughs> don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Jesus. This guy's like, come on, don't be pathetic. Except, all right. Got some flashing lights. Got some smoke. Maybe they had like a little fun time over here. What do you think? There's fucking beer everywhere. Hmm. I can climb up a drain pipe. All right. Fuck yeah, let's go. My drain pipe. Why? Whoa! Look at the moon. That's a full moon too. Hell yeah. Why did I come up here? Just cause. Ooh, maybe they were getting it on on the roof, and then he found out that he had a wife, and then he shot him. 
from <laughs> Wait, there's a gun up here. What the fuck? <laughs> what a good way to throw your gun, dude. Oh, I can move them. Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. Nice. I can expense all right. Two shot. Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. I mean, that's pretty smart, okay? I wouldn't have think to look on the roof. I honestly was just fucking around. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. Oh, okay. Is there anything else up here that I give a fuck about? Guess not. I got some- oh, I have a notebook. What we got? Shooter Peyton. Oh, he was shot twice. Okay, okay. By a white man. <gasps> Racist. And that guy is a big asshole, so fuck that guy. Alright, what do we have? Just the gun, right? And the blood. Alright, so he was shot twice. I'm guessing in the head. And then they tossed the gun up here and then they bounced. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. I want to know show some initiative, goes. Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. It didn't look fancy to me, but I guess I don't know guns very well. Can I run? He walks so fucking slow. I can run, thank God. <laughs> I was like, God damn, you run with yourself. you sure about this? It's not really our gig. I don't care. No man. harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. They did not. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that. Call me a boy can. scout? Eat dick, bro. You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? Yeah. I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. Well, you're gonna It'll have my fine, foot Ralph. up your ass. You keep you talking too shit. Much. Just saying. I wanna become detective. You don't become detective doing nothing but sitting on your ass. Oh, can we talk to this guy? Hey, did you see anything, sir? Did you see anything? No? Alright. Do I have to drive? I don't want to drive. Please? Fuck. <laughs> I don't want to drive. I was told I can make my partner drive, because every- Because you all know I can't drive. I was told I don't have to. Excuse me, I don't want to drive. One of these buttons gotta be it. You're behind the wheel. Yes. Let's go to the floor. Thank God. You hold triangle. You make him drive. Thank God for that. <laughs> okay, so a guy got shot twice. The homicide detectives were like, who gives a fuck about this guy? And we just want to prove that we're awesome. So we're going to try to find out who owns the gun, I guess. Alright, ready? Let's solve this case. Hello, good sir. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Wow, you really know this gun. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies? Are only available special order. Oh, how fucking nice. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. Oh, I'm guessing he was going to. It's about like, something here bad, it is. right? <laughs> well, how convenient that he used a really... Model 27 with pearl grips. What an grips, idiot. <laughs> you see it on there? Dude, what an idiot. He, like, used a special ordered gun. What a dum-dum. All right. Um, What did it say? He said gold-plated. Right? Oh man, I totally forgot what it was. Uh, it was Pearl Grip, right? This one? We're in luck, Errol Schroeder. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. And look, we get an address. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Dude, this is gonna be the fastest case ever. You're gonna be so proud of me. Do we call it in? Uh, no, Let's see if he's go. at home. 
Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. I mean, fair, but also, what are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds that a man... Now that wasn't so hard, was oh, it? Man. Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. Very true. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. He's an idiot, Most of them actually. Aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. Oh, he does not. Our partner hates us. To be fair, our character is very fucking annoying. <laughs> he reminds me of like Oscar from The Office, where he's like, actually, this is correct. <laughs> Hopefully he shapes up. All right, yeah, it's a little too easy. So maybe you know some crimes might be that way. You know, maybe especially like first-time criminals. But like, if it is as black and white as we think it is, this guy's really stupid. Well, you can only three. What's up? What's up, Whammon? I'm looking this car. Sorry, the lemon distract me. All right, let's see if he's home. Be ready for anything, sir. Inspect the mailbox to learn department number. Okay. He's in number two. Schroeder, apartment two. All right. Let's go bag him, boys. I really hope our character like eases up a little bit because he's kind of annoying. So you can't get anywhere unless you take initiative. Like you're a little too much, sir. What do you guys want? Respect. I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith and Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips. I might be. What of it? Uh, then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. I wouldn't have said. You're uh, out of your mind, Scooter. He works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. Ooh. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sir. You ready, tough guy? Yeah. Take some of this. Bitch. Didn't learn this shit in the academy, brother. Take this hand. Well, first off, he's going to get arrested because he assaulted right? a police officer, I'm fine. so... I hardly felt it. He fucked that up. He's lucky he caught me off guard. All right, let's do some investigating. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. Oh, look, he has a little book. <gasps> bum, bum. <laughs> All right, so he said that he worked for him, huh? Oh, what's up? List of names and a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Who's that? Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. I like Call to it live in, dangerously. Partner, and leave the book where you found it. Nah, thanks. That's not where we found it. <laughs> Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. Oh man, I didn't get a look around the apartment. There could have been clues. this oh look at us we look so dapper you dumb fucking sons of bitches get in this line now before I lose my temper excuse me sergeant but excuse me Fuck you! <laughs> you say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for- I know why you're here, asswipe! I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quick. 
All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. I like that guy. Why aren't we that guy? Excuse me? Fuck you! <laughs> I hope we can also get to pick, like, options of how we talk to people. Because I'd love to be super Where did you mean. pick the right place, Cole? A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. What happened about the other case? Working out of my route. Do get to know who murdered that man? Fuck, I'm driving in. Get out of the fucking way! <laughs> oh, man. I'm sad. I really wanted to see how that case ended. Excuse me, ma'am. Don't walk. Screw. Make it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. Uh oh, it's a bank robbery. Guys, I want to know how that case ended. What the fuck? You'll never know who shot that man. Oh, I had to shoot man. <laughs> Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. All right. The cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Shh. Don't tell me how to soon. fucking do my job, good sir. Shoot you in the head. I can move from cover. Alright, who wants these hands? I'm getting hammered here, Phelps! There's literally LAPD, no one. <laughs> put down your weapons! I'm getting destroyed. The bank is surrounded! I'm offering you Not a, a chance to- chance, copper. Give me zero. Stay down. Oh, nice shot, sir. That's it. We got them all. Wow. I think we got them, Cole. Cake money. Should be all clear. That was so easy. Thank Lieutenant you, Uncharted. Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Aww. So cute. But like, for real though, what happened with the other case? This kind of opportunity? Comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? He has a point. I like Kelso more. Why aren't we the cooler people in this game? Our character kind of sucks. Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends. But their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. 
I like Kelsey. Well, more. it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after He's him, like, Phelps. Oh, I'll head him off in the car. Oh, I got you some Wendell kind of Bowers, bitch, right? stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourselves. Why you? Come here, Peter Fern. He's hiding in the I'm gonna air. get this guy so hard. I'm coming for you, baby. Bowers! He's so Hold fucking right fast. There. She moved towards now, the I will shoot. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Dunn, watch your fire. You don't oh, want to oh. do this, Wendell. I'm coming for you, sir. Get down from there right now. <laughs> what did I say? Give it up, <laughs> Wendell. He ain't giving up, good sir. Stay the hell away from me. I'm coming, baby. <laughs> Ow! What the fuck? You got the kid. <laughs> you fucking asked for it. Oh, you're gonna get it too, baby. Hard and fast. There's no way That's I'm going back said. inside. <laughs> oh, there is. I've done my time. Well, not enough, apparently. It's over, Bowers! <laughs> you assholes already screwed me once. I don't even know why we're chasing this guy. We don't know shit about him. But fuck it, Give I'm Give it up, Bowers! Red. There's nowhere left to go! It's not a good idea. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Ooh, yeah, baby. <laughs> bitch, bitch, ash, ho, mother. Throw him off the roof. I didn't actually think he was gonna throw him off the roof. <laughs> well, that's not gonna look good on nice our work, court card. <laughs> you run track in high school? I did actually. It fucking sucked. <laughs> Never again. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps, Merrill, 10, Franklin, 8, Weiss, 8, Donahoe, 6, Kowalski, 6, Hudson, 5, Kelso, 2, Leadership, Donahoe, 8, Franklin, 7, Merrill, 6, Kowalski, 6, Weiss, 5, Hudson, 5, Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Did we just, like, purposely fuck over Kelso? What a little bitch boy. Man. Alright, I actually want to complete a time, case, though. There's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. Is it this case? The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. I gotta say, the voice acting, like the narrator, is so fucking cool. LAPD, His voice is just... Could you stand clear of the body, please? Oh, so good. Has anyone called an ambulance? We've oh, called an ambulance dead. and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Yeah, he's not moving. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Oh, uh, yeah. This is this the first case we actually get to complete? Everybody because, stay back. Like... Let us do our job. It's kind of bugging me. I don't know what the Broad ending daylight. of any of these things are. <laughs> a crowded street. Yeah. I've seen everything. Alright. Unless he got in his packet. Alright, he bought some earrings, huh? A layaway ticket. So, like, does that mean, See like, Galetta. charged? Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. So. Made out to yeah. Bank of Arcadia. Okay. 
So he has maybe like a woman, be a wife. Okay. Maybe an, a lover scorned. Thing with his hands. No. All right. And look at his head, I guess. Oh, I don't like that noise. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Alright. He's not wearing a wedding ring. Okay. Alright, let's look around. Did you see anything, sir? Officer, oh, I can talk to him? Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. Uh, I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. You want to take a look around now? The witness can wait, Cole. We've got the perimeter. I saw something like shining over here. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Right here. All oh, the bullets. Shell casings. These look like 32s. Got five times? He got shot five times? Looks like only three. That is overkill. All right. Did you see anything, ma'am? I'm going to memorize your name and throw my head away. What the fuck does that mean? What? Oh. Excuse me, they just threw the gun? In the trash can? FN Browning. Serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. What the fuck? <laughs> Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. <laughs> okay. I didn't even think to look in the trash can. I was trying to talk to the girl. And then it let me do this. All right. I don't need to talk to this man. Right. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse <laughs> her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See All what right, she so out of her. This is when things get real, huh? Before I even talk to the women. <laughs> don't you people I mean, have we look at my clues. Do? All right, so he got shot. I think this is the most important thing. Receipt for pearl ailings made out to the bank. Alright, can I look like further into this? No? Okay. Um, she got- we got a hang- okay. So, would you want to bet that the girl in there is the one that has the pearl earrings? Fat bet. Uh, can I- can I help you? Sir? Yes. I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Okay. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Uh oh, she had the earrings. Let me double check though. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. I can look at her. Oh, she seems a little nervous. All right. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> okay, I don't think she's being honest, right? But is using the, the voucher for the earrings proof? Maybe. Maybe they went to the bank today. All right, fuck it, let's go. You're lying, You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Um, look at this. Your pearl earrings, Miss Coletta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. 
Oh God, I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, <laughs> if you don't stop earrings. obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu, Edgar Kalu, he runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. I thought we were going to get freaking destroyed. All right. Possible murder. All right. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Um. Alright, it's telling me to be bad cop. So, I'm gonna trust it. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Now, when Mr. Gage hates Jews. Whoa. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. What the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many. And they were so loud. Alright, so they're like teaching me right now. Okay. I need you to concentrate. Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another. And then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. Very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. So she wasn't gonna tell me all that because of fucking earrings? Alright, Whammon. Okay, so that was easy for us because they kind of told me the options I needed to pick. So from now on, we gotta be smet. But be careful. Alright. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Oh, red, right, oh, red. Right. Let's call her this bitch. Uh, I'm not driving. Can you drive There's to this no way? Um, let's go to the gun store first. Um, that way we can see if we can pin the gun to the man, even though we have a statement already, but like even more so we can have like hard proof because like we can just be like well she said this and then he could be like well that's bullshit she's lying i don't even own a gun and then we'll be like really then what's this i think it'd be a better move so we're gonna try it it doesn't seem like it's as a fancy gun Officer. but they should be registered what can i do you for you can do me officers favor. phelps and dunn sir wilshire division we need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Oh, then. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. I think it looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. And he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. 
Oh shit. That means he was planning this shit for weeks. You know the way. You can drive. Interesting. Wasn't as much of a emotional shooting as I thought it was. He like went in, got the gun cleaned, and got cartridges a couple weeks ago. Interesting. The plot thickens. All right, so like it might be he just doesn't like Mr. Gage, but like I think there's a probably a better reason. Than Officer, that. can I interest you in a new watch? Oh yeah, for sure. I'd like this. Officer one. Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? He's so uh, aggressive. No, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Okay, thanks, bro. Son of oh, a bitch. bitch! Go, Cole, go! What a bitch ass. He knows we're on to him. Stop it, Mr. Kalu. You will not Kalu, leave. Kalu! Get back here! You want me to shoot him? I'm not gonna shoot him. I love That's these stupid. Everyone's a dog. I'm just gonna beat his ass. I'm gonna shoot my fucking killer. That's so dumb. I'll get in trouble for that shit. Too late, Kalu! Got him. Easy. Holy shit. Alright, that was unnecessary. He's like, that's for making me run, motherfucker. <laughs> Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. I wanna know why, though. You probably won't tell me right, huh? The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. Ooh, I want that case. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. It yes, is sir. me. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. Yes. <laughs> How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? Like interrogate him? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? Yes. I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, yeah. sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. Mm -hmm. Motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you Some fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. Wow. <laughs> How are you feeling, lad? That is illegal. Fine, <laughs> Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. Leave the kitty out of this. This is your chance. Don't fail me. <laughs> no pressure. All right, guys, we got this. Easy. Cake money. Uh, we have a lot of evidence, so I feel pretty good. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. But not like motive. A lawyer can't help think. you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. These are the facts. All right, let me look at the evidence real quick. All right, got the gun. We got... Not possible. Uh, okay, so... She was implying that he killed him because Mr. Gage was, like, kind of destroying his business a little bit, but because he was, like, racist. And we have two people. We have her that puts him shooting and then him that has a gun so like we're pretty fucking good all right what was the argument about you followed everett gage and the girl back to the shoe store you put five rounds in gage's back gage was a was a bastard whatever he got he got what was coming but it had nothing to do with me wow yeah we're gonna stick with that you're sticking with that Oh, I have so many evidence to, like, fuck you up. All right, that's You a shot lie. Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Um, I have Whammon, and she said... 
It was you. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. Wow. That Jew-hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Mm. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? <laughs> you're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god, you guys are so bad at lying. You're lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money, and he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know about that. I just know that... There was that. I'm done with you. Go flap your gum somewhere else. <laughs> that should have been a bad cop. Motherfucker. God damn it. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and Fuck. watch you run around in circles. Oh, We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. God damn it, he's going to be so mad at me. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Alright guys, we're back. Um, the cop guy got so mad and he's like, go back in there! And then basically just like restarted the interrogation. Um, which I think this will be the only case where that will happen since this is supposed to be like a tutorial case. I think we need a bad cop here. You yes. left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? Wow, you call sir. Me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy putt snatcher! You and that stump gauge! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Yeah, that's what I thought Edgar it might Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. What a sweet way to say that he's arrested for murder. <laughs> Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. First you it don't succeed, try it. <laughs> Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Yes, that's me. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Wee, oh boys. All right. Now that we've gotten warmed up, I want to do at least one more case before we call it a day. Just because I finally kind of get the groove of things. I feel like reading them, like the people, it's very hard. Um, especially like, from the bad cop to the accused, but like, I guess you just had to have like very, very concrete evidence to use that. Uh, but I feel confident, so we're gonna do one more case, at least, maybe two if they're like as short as that one was, and then we'll call it a day. The driver's seat, as long as I'm not in it, I'm down. <laughs> Oh my god, we have a suit now. Well, I'm still wearing my cop cat because I don't have a cool hat like that. So. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? He's like That's punched big. us. <laughs> He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. Oh, yeah, that just fucking ran into me. <laughs> nice. Go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Very Who's much. intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. All right. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, Chief Detective and Advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. I like this guy. 
And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division, welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. That's a me. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, <laughs> Phelps is curtsied, one of only two serving like LAPD <laughs> officers who received the Silver Star during the war. I they did gave what gave those now? lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside and out. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up. You'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE <laughs> Freight <shit>. Depot, 6th <laughs> and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. The heck is a traffic cop? That's like that's not like a meter, right? Like not the ones that do tickets. Like this gotta be something else. Hi. <laughs> we just like investigate. Abandoned they really pushed you through shit? quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. It's because I what take initiative. Say? I didn't ask for any favors. I made the favor. <laughs> I said all We look pretty snazzy. Oh, I wonder if we can change our outfits. Seems like a decent guy. That'd be cool. Keep talking. Someday you'll say something intelligent. <laughs> okay. Jesus. I'm not driving. You know this place? No. Sure. Refused. Near the old gas works and signal the warehouse. If I, I'm not going to drive unless I absolutely have to. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Well, Are we friends I like to teach people that, and... We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Nice. I went to college at Stanford. Did two it's years Stanford. ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded, shipped back home, did a year on the beat, now I'm here. He only did a year. So you won the Silver Star. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No, you were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. You finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Now fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. We sure know how to make friends, Sounds don't like we? you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. So we got a silver star. I don't know anything about military stuff, but uh, I think that's a pretty big deal. But I bet we got it from like, we probably killed all our crew or whatever. That's probably why I just want to talk about it. Cause like they kind of implied that pretty heavily when, you know. That you Bukowski, go on through. Um, Parking lot straight ahead. When we had like the little montage of him, you know, I need little, to get um, back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. God, oh my God, my train of thought's gone. Um, what was I saying? Oh, well, that, like, the right decision isn't always the popular one and it will likely case, get Phelps. the people okay you like killed. So I'm guessing you don't that know what to do next. come back. Just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. I don't need your Thanks, help. Stefan. I'm the You're best okay. detective around. <laughs> All right, so we're just looking at a vehicle or some shit. I'm kind of confused on what a traffic cop is. Or tra I guess it's more like a traffic detective. Hi. How you doing? I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car. Probably issue. stolen. The Sweet. solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. Okay. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. Oh. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black. 
just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. I want to check the trash cans now. Just because, what the fuck was that with the gun? I was like trying to talk to that girl, and there was a gun in the trash. Alright, sir, you're gonna have to wait until I uh, do some looking around. Alright, I don't have the clue thing on, so I gotta be super careful. Can I open this trunk? Nice. There's a tire iron. Duh, F. I guess that's not weird. This is gonna help us. No, but there's like a note or something. Let's go that. We get. Mr. F. A pig? Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? What the fuck? What kind of kinky shit is this man into? Bestiality. <laughs> Alright, I won't keep him. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? That's like a them lot looks of to blood. Have lost a lot of blood. Holy shit, dude. He fucking painted that shit. Oh. Alright, let me talk to this guy. What's up? Doc? Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Huh. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. He wasn't. He couldn't have got far. Oops, sorry, sir. Hey, look at this. Look. Oh, interesting. Some glaciers. Stenzel right, glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Oh, the little tape. That's adorable. I bet he looked so cute with the glasses on. Okay, so, like, how did that guy leave? Oh, that's a creepy picture. Look at that girl's face. Happier times, I guess. Jesus. She's like, <laughs> like, look how creepy that is. Ready? That's how that looks like. That's terrifying. His wife murdered him, no doubt. Calling it now. 32 years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? More, more importantly, why did he buy a pig? We should talk about that. Maybe he made like some bacon or some shit, but like, who buys a live pig? It's fucking weird. Alright, they said not to keep this guy waiting, so let's talk to him before he gets too grumpy. Hello, good sir. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. Nice to meet you. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. A strange place to be parking your car. Very true. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. All right. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. Right. I was on my way out to the switch and reckoned I'd take a shortcut. Alright, that looks like the most straight face, so he's definitely telling the truth. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Alright. Do you know who Do you Adrian know Black Adrian is? Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Yep, okay. <laughs> you ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. Really? But I know most of the cars are parked here regularly, so it kind of stood out. I like this guy. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? I wasn't, but now I kind of am. <laughs> Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. And? But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. <laughs> so and different from what, like, the first two. If you don't mind so waiting a little longer, at? I'm sure we'll have more questions once we've had a look around. I wanna just look at the parking lot. Does that, does that make sense, to look in the parking lot? Get back here, Phelps, we're not done yet. Guess not. Searching. I wanted to look in the parking lot. I don't see anything else. 
Uh, oh, there's stuff over here. Oh, shit balls. Look at that. That's bloody. Insta heat. Brand name might give us something nice. to go on. Okay, okay. You guys mm. take your time. No freight rolling through here till we're done. And we're still <laughs> punching the clock. Shut up, dude. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to do anything today, so just look around. Alright, I think that's really it, but I guess I can look further. I don't really see nothing. <laughs> I don't think there'd be anything all the way the fuck out here. If anything, it'd be like around here, maybe. But nah. Oh, maybe those newspapers be around though. I should look for those, huh? Hmm. I think that's it. To be honest with you, I can ask if he's he knows anything about like insta heat or something. But like other than that, I don't really see nothing. All right, let's ask this guy one more thing. Hey, good sir. I talk to you real quick. I'm at a loss. Oh. Have a word with the witness. It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. That's what I was trying to do. Um. Yeah. Do you know anything we about this? We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. All right. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. All right. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if four we need anything more. Correct. Let's go. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. I don't want to talk to him the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. Poor the wife of what? That we just found a bloody car. With no body? I think the wife did it. Did you see how creepy that picture was? She looked fucking terrifying. She looked like she was possessed by the devil or some shit. She probably ate that live hog or used it as a sacrifice. <laughs> I swear to god. Oh, we get the cool car. Well, I'm not driving, so... You're sucks, behind so the sucks, wheel. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Yes, we do. Jeez. Don't give me that sash. It's a weird. Traffic co Is it like abandoned vehicles? Like, is there a lot of those? That you need like to investigate? Like that's, that's really weird. But alright. I think the wife did it just because that picture was so fucking creepy. <laughs> Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. I wanna look around first. I want to see if I can find a newspaper. Maybe we can talk to the neighbors. Or use this rake. <laughs> Beat her into submission. I'm Where are you going, Phelps? This is the place. Shut up. Look at this. Whoa, what no the fuck? I'm leaving the thing half finished. They want me to finish this? Okay. Now it goes up here. That can't be right. Ding. Well, you want to bet it's missing a piece. And it's the piece that was all bloodied. Alright, this is teaching me I need to look everywhere. Every case. Uh oh, look at that. <laughs> so the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. But we don't know he's dead, right? There wasn't a body. But he's probably dead. Like, for real, though. No one... <laughs> There's no way anyone could survive that much fucking blood loss. But, like, where's the body? <gasps> Can I look in the shed? Things in the shed. No? Huh? How about we go through the back? <laughs> to scare the shit out of... Oh, what about this shed? Uh, it doesn't have a gold handle. I can't go in this way. But I can go in through the back. <laughs> Imagine, like, hearing a fucking knock on the back door. <laughs> she didn't answer. That's hilarious. It's funny that I could go and knock on the back door. Now she knows we snoop in. Hold on, I saw something over here. 
What's this? Oh, just a hose? Okay, cool. Alright, alright. Can we see in her house? Oh, she's on the couch. Looking at a hat. Small sauce. Alright. Alright, women. Got some just bad news. Just a minute! LAPD, Mrs. Black. Hi. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Why was she holding a hat, dude? Super weird. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. There Black? There go, yep. Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay right, calm right, and remember real. everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Okay, well, she out. seems fine Come right on. now. Where'd the hat go that she was holding? Mm -hmm. Look at the photos, maybe? No? Where'd the hat go, girl? I saw you holding a hat, so the fuck is it? Oh, is that a newspaper? Fuck yeah. Oh, cool. So these are like side stories, huh? Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, your friend of Courtney's. Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something. Calm your nerves. Oh, okay. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, Doctor has kind of a creepy face going I want on. To take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, occasions that made you laugh, times that made you smile. Okay, I don't know how I feel about all that, but, um, alright. Oh, I don't need to look at that again. Thank you. There's 13? Alright, we're gonna get all 13. Or I'm gonna do my best. Got some ciggies. Kavanaugh's? So who brought this home? Oh, I didn't think that was gonna be important. Interesting. Alright, let's look Have around. a good look around. There's Whoa, gotta be something this. in here to go on. Is there a receipt? This was only recently installed, not two days ago. By an M. Ryan. Okay. Interesting. Alright, then, oh, okay, so we can probably go there and ask some questions, huh? I wonder if someone in the house bought this unit knowing how they would use the parts. That'd be kind of weird. And who would that would that be? The wife? <laughs> oh look, a vacuum. Alright, stuff on the fridge. I don't really see anything else. Is there, there's another matchbook. Interesting, there's a lot of those, dude. Interesting. Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. can find a phone to call them. Oh, cool. Hey, sir, I want to look in here, too. The fuck out. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah. There is... Not much help. What? 
Maybe she cleaned him after. Just kidding. Okay. Alright, uh, I don't see really anything in here. Okay, I think we're good in the kitchen. I need to find a phone. But first, open this door. I love that she just, like, lets me look around. Oh, uh, what's this? What? A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. What? Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Interesting. So maybe he did make it to the train, huh? Well, this a... must be Adrian's. Yeah. For sure. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Oh, I have an idea. It might be a stretch. But what happens if Adrian faked his death to get away from his wife? To my Adrian. Who the fuck's Nicole? This thing gets more and more interesting. What happens if he faked his death? He bought the pig, killed the pig, and then dumped the blood in the car so that his wife would think he was dead so he can run with his mistress. Wouldn't that be an epic story? It's probably not that. But like, it kind of looking like it could be that, you know what I'm saying? Especially now there's a Nicole lady, train ticket, suitcase missing. Things aren't- and she was looking at the hat, which is super weird. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? The fuck? <laughs> That's r really weird. Can I look at the drawers or anything? No? she have any suitcase? All our stuff's gone. Do you guys see that? There's like nothing in the closet. Oh man. Or, ooh, ooh, better plot. Operator, message for KGPL. Say it after. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Huh. Thanks for your help. Okay, better, better story, better plot. The wife finds out the husband cheating. They get mad. Separate bedrooms, right? But husband has a lot of life insurance. And she hate her husband now because he's a cheating asshole. So she buys pig in using his card or money, whatever, and then kills him, but uses the pig blood to cover it up. And then, no, that doesn't make sense. The first one makes more sense. I'm being ahead of myself. Let's go talk to the women. I'm all right now, detectives. Yeah? All right. Let me review my evidence, because we have a lot of stuff going on here. All right, all right. So we got the bandit vehicle. We got some blood. We got live hog. Signed by F. Morgan. Oh, it's a different name. What's her name? Margaret Black. Okay, ooh. Ooh, even more plot twist. So he didn't buy the hog. What? Oh man, alright. Okay, who the fuck is this? We know it's a Nicole that the husband's cheating with. Please hurry! My Shush. husband might be injured! Your husband's fine, I'm sure. Okay, that that changes things. I don't I don't know now. I'm very uh I'm very confused. We right, found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What the fuck? So his business partner, partner bought the pig? I think she's being honest. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. 
very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Okay, okay, okay. I think my first theory is right that he used his buddy so that it couldn't get traced back to him. And so his death would be like faked. Okay, super weird. I don't know. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Very true. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? What an awful thing to say. <laughs> I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. I think she's being honest. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Okay. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Okay. Sure. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Hmm. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. That's sad. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Freaky business, am I right? Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Okay. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Oh, so the ones we found are not the new ones then. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Ah, oh, sweet cheeks. Does she know? Uh, well, I have... Okay. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph. Maybe she doesn't Mrs. know that. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I told you what I know about the picture. But it says, um, who's Nicole? What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. It's true. I don't know. If he intended to leave me, or if it was just a fling, God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Dude, fuck we'll this man. Informed, I wouldn't Mrs. give a Black. fuck if he's safe or not. Please do, detective. I don't think she killed him, though. Bummer, though. She should've. I mean... Alright, we got places to be. Thanks, Whammon. Alright, I don't think she's in on it. I think Frank probably knows a lot more about what's going on. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, man. Can you drive to this one? Let's go to the bear. So, where do you want to go? Let's go talk to Frank. I really think he faked his death, dude. But, like, why? He could just leave her, right? Like, why would he go through that? Jesus, first? I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared true. to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this Very hadn't true. happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell so. doesn't seem the type, but stranger things have happened. It's very true. I don't think so, but also, like, him faking his death doesn't make any sense. Like, why wouldn't he just leave his wife, you know? I feel like we're missing something. Something ain't adding up. Frank, I don't know. Maybe Frank's like his bestie or some shit. 
go hey, down. I know you. You, no, you don't. do. You know me. We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink for for old times' sake? Oh hell yeah, bro. I I would buy him a drink. <laughs> uh, waitress. Can I have another spoon? I think I need. Well, look at this. It's like gold. I get records. Dot F. Okay. You looking for someone? That's interesting. I'm looking for Frank. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Oh, cool. Is this the newspaper? It's not the newspaper. Something though. funny about the clam chowder. Oh, He's dull nice. as dish. Frank Morgan? Not Are you Frank? He's asking. I am. Oh, you're Frank. Hi, Frank. Cole Feltz, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Wow, he doesn't sound surprised at all. All right, all right, all right. So we have him only on the hog thing. I don't think we have anything else. I don't think we have like the wife's testimony or anything. Train ticket from Los Angeles to Seattle. I don't know when that was. So really the only thing we have is the hog thing for him. So let's keep that in mind. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian, he, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk off Phelps. I don't at all. I just don't know if I can do a cues yet. I'm gonna use my intuition, I really don't fuck up. Move an answer. All right, then it's a cues. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? I found the receipt for the the hog in the vehicle. I you were there, Morgan. The we found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He Wanted me to make it look like you've been attacked. I called that shit. But why? Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. I think you're full of shit. I mean, he's making eye contact, so I'm gonna say good cop. How was he getting there? I don't know. Maybe a Greyhound? You guys ought to go try the terminal on Sunset. Oh, I fucked it up. Fuck. So Adrian isn't hurt? What's with all the blood? I don't know. It was dark. He must have caught a nick on something. Mother, yeah. I swear to God. All right. Come here, bitch. We have you for aiding and abetting a criminal conspiracy. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to come up with some other charges, Morgan? Boy. <laughs> we bought a small hog and put it in the trunk. We got to the rail yard. I cut the pig's throat and drained the blood into a bucket. Splashed the blood all around the car. What? Adrian hit the pig a couple of times with the pipe to make the pipe look convincing. Why? This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. Ah, oh, man. You want my it was opinion? so hard, though. We tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. I agree. That was so hard, because, like, usually if they make eye contact with you like that, they're not lying. But he was obviously like giving me some sass, right? Oh fuck, I have to do the tailing? <laughs> cool, I love it. Um, but it was hard because he's like making direct eye contact. He wasn't like breaking breaking it, so I was like, well, oh, maybe, he doesn't know. But, man, this is gonna be tricky. He sure left his drink in a hurry. Right. We gotta make sure he don't see me. This is a nightmare. But I can't get too far and lose him. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Fuck. Oh no. Fuck me, man. Ah! <laughs> Shit, Mars. I hate this. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. Oh, well, I never know how to drive, so joke's on you, good sir. 
He went straight. I didn't even see him. Where'd he go? Oh, I see him. Now would be a bad time to get in the drive. Jokes on you. I think he went this way. Oh, there he is. <laughs> this is real. There's no fucking way he wouldn't see me, dude. And he's turning. It's I gotta turn. Excuse me, sir. Get the fuck out of the way. Thank you. This is painful. I hope this is the only time I have to drive. I doubt it, though. Alright, get behind this guy. Alright, he's going straight. You sh- you sh- God damn it. <laughs> I hate this. Alright, where is he? He's up by that white car. Oh, it's yellow, I think. Oh god, for the love of god, just get there. Wherever you need to go, make it happen. <sighs> I'm losing him. <laughs> where are you taking us, Mr. Morgan? He's taking us to our man's. Slow down. Oh, he stopped. I think. Oh. His apartment, huh? What a shitty place to hide out. So like, I'm just gonna hide out in my bro's apartment. No one's gonna know. Let's I wonder, check the place out. Come on. I wonder if I could have like got it out of him if I Day one of the big time the and you're already first. tailing drunks home from bars. <laughs> You haven't fun yet? I'm having a best. I told you it was time. non-stop glamour work in traffic, didn't I? I don't I still don't understand what traffic I'm just trying is, to learn. To be honest with you. Oh, come on, <gasps> Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet Book stuff store. for Leary. Won't work on me. Wow. You really just fucking put us in a box. <laughs> He's not wrong. Alright, let's go. Alright, Mr. Morgan. Let's see where he is. They all live at the second one, don't they? Apartment two. Alright. Let's go say hi to Mr. Morgan. I bet Mr. Black is there too. Alright. Let's pay our friend a visit. See if he's missed us yet. I doubt it. It's been like two minutes. Alright, I can't see the numbers. Alright, there's one. Here it is. Hello. Who the hell is that? Will you wow. relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, shit. He's gonna run. It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black? LAPD! Give Even yourself Frank's up like, now! I don't give a fuck, bro. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Okay, Remember, okay. The the oh, yeah, I'm not gonna shoot him. That's so stupid. There's no point running, Adrian! We caught you red-handed. Where'd he go? Adrian? Where is he? I lost him. Where did he go? Mr. Black, get Adrian? back here right now! <laughs> Stop God right damn it, Adrian. Adrian. Know your place. Alright, where is he? It's over, Adrian! Oh. Thanks, sir. <laughs> Why not just come clean? I lost there, him Black. for like the first two minutes. Why the melodrama? Seriously, though. I thought it would be easier. No, it just for got who? a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Oh my god, I was right, you guys. A new law and order came in handy. <laughs> that turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest yeah, and a clearance much. in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation Thanks. technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you could go a long way in this department. That was so good. If they're like all that good, I'm very, very excited. All right, how do we do? City damaged. Yeah, we're always gonna have some of those. <laughs> Frank Morgan would have rolled over with some... Yeah, fuck. That's okay. Alright, guys. We're going to end this one here. 
Uh, I'm loving this game so far. I really love the detective thing we got going on. I love that you could fuck up the cases. Um, and I love that you have to really think like a detective and really look at your evidence and kind of and analyze people. It's just a really beautiful game so far and I really like the story. Our character is okay. He's kind of fucking annoying <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, but everything else about the game is beautiful so i'll just like get used to him i guess um but yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed like i said earlier i know i said like we'll do probably like, case based on the episodes obviously this first episode is not following that <laughs> um but i think for the next episode we'll probably do like two cases each gameplay um or part if you will just because they seem like probably like they're a good 30 to 40 minutes which will be perfect to do two of them in one go uh but yeah anyway i hope you guys are enjoying if you are go leave a like and comment below and of course subscribe to see this gameplay and other gameplay in the future but in that i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one bye